I've been sitting here trying to come up with the right words, but there are no right words to use right now. Before I get into what I want to talk about today, I have to start this video with saying, as a mother with two kids in elementary school, to everyone that is suffering right now, to all of the family members who have lost a baby in Texas at Robb Elementary School, I am so sorry. There are no words that will ever take that pain away, but my thoughts are with you. And I'm so sorry. We should not be here. This should not have happened. My heart is broken for you. I am angry with you, and I will use my platform in whatever capacity I can to help spread awareness on what needs to change in this country. So this is not my usual content. I usually don't talk about legislation surrounding gun ownership and policies that allow 18 year olds to purchase assault rifles, but here we are. Just to kind of briefly go over what happened two days ago in Texas, an 18 year old, I will not say his name, I will not show his picture, bought two assault rifles, shot his grandmother, got in his truck. Apparently, from what I have read, it was shot at law enforcement and law enforcement were chasing him. He crashed his truck into a ditch near an elementary school. He then goes into an elementary school and cops are there already. He is shooting anyone that he possibly can as he makes his way to a classroom. He barricades himself inside of that classroom and, uh, <laughs> and he shoots every baby and teacher in that classroom. 19 children and two adults were killed as law enforcement stood outside and did not go inside. There are conflicting timelines as to how long law enforcement were standing there and did nothing. One says 40 minutes. Another source said they stood outside for 40 minutes waiting to get organized and then went to go get into the school and it took them 30 minutes to open the door. I don't really know. The facts of it is the cops sat outside of the school and they listened as 19 babies were gunned down by an 18 year old. It is not okay that an 18 year old can walk into a store and purchase assault rifles. An 18 year old. Science has shown us that most people don't reach their full maturity until they're 25. That is when the brain is fully developed. You have to be 21 years old to buy alcohol, but at 18, you can buy assault rifles. Make it make sense. There have been 119 school shootings since 2018. 119 school shootings since 2018. Last year, Governor Greg Abbott signed 22 pieces of legislation making it easier to own and carry firearms in the state of Texas. One of the 22 pieces of legislation that he signed was Texas House Bill 1927, which is usually called constitutional carry. That went into effect September 2021. It allows Texans 21 years of age or older to carry a handgun and conceal it without a permit and without training and you can take that handgun into most public places. Prior to the new law, there were several things a Texan had to do to conceal and carry a handgun, like get a permit, pass a background check, submit fingerprints, take four to six hours of training, and you had to pass a written test. Basically, before Greg Abbott signed 1927, you had to do a bunch of things to prove that you could conceal and carry a firearm, that you knew how to use it, that you were competent enough to use it. The only rules now are you have to be 21 years of age and you can't have a felony or a conviction for domestic violence. That's it. Another new law allows you from 18 to 21, obtain a handgun under the threat of family violence. And obviously, if you are over the age of 18 in Texas, you can purchase a rifle. I find it disgusting that Greg Abbott can sit there and say, making abortions illegal will stop abortions. But in the same breath, he can say, making guns illegal won't stop gun violence. They're doing everything in their power to overturn Roe vs. Wade. But if you're 18, you can buy assault rifles because like you want to. Again, I am not political. 
I know what the Constitution says. I know that we have the right to bear arms. But if you think it's okay for a 18-year-old kid to carry assault rifles and walk into a school and shoot up the fucking building, you're insane. If your brain is not fully developed enough to buy alcohol, how is your brain fully developed to own and carry firearms? So what do we do? What do we do? Because school shootings seem to be uniquely American. So what do we do? We secure schools the same way that we secure billion dollar corporations, banks, prisons. There should be a control center with security cameras. Someone should be watching what's going on. There should be security on the premises. Teachers need to be paid more. No one should be allowed on the premises unless they are a staff member that you have carefully and meticulously vetted that works there, that has passed all of these checks, or a student. Those are the only people that should be allowed on the property. Staff members and students. It doesn't make sense that this country demands that we send our children to places that are not safe. Make them safe. And if a school shooting does happen, it is my suggestion that the entire country sit out for a week or two. Two weeks, the entire country, no students go to school, if possible because then the schools will lose funding and they will have no choice. When tragedy like this happens, it is so incomprehensible that we say things like, I can't imagine, and we try to disassociate from the horrific, senseless violence that we have seen. So I know that we can't imagine, I know, but for a second, let me please show you what this looks like for these parents and these family members of their loved ones that are never coming home. 19 babies are never coming home. So let me just paint a picture for you as to what that looks like. Mornings in my house are stressful and they're chaotic and I yell more often than I wish that I did, but I yell because we have to get our lunch packed and we have to put it in our backpack and we have to get clothes on and we have to do our hair, we have to brush our teeth and it's just chaos and I yell. So I imagine that tons of parents that morning were just trying to get their kids in the car so that they can get to school on time and someone probably forgot their lunch and one of the parents probably have reheated their coffee four times that morning and they're tired and they're stressed and they get the kids in the car. They get them to school and they say, okay, ha have a good day. Go, 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 go. You're gonna be late, love you, bye. And they leave and then they get that call that says there's a shooter, there's an active shooter at your kid's school. And you're trying to process that information and you can't fathom it. Your brain doesn't want to go there, but you're terrified and you rush down to the school and the cops are standing there and they're not rushing in and you hear gunfire. And then you learn that your baby's never coming home and all you think about is how you yelled at them to brush their teeth four times before they did and how you had to yell for them to get their shoes on that day and you're just rushing them to get them to school that day. I know that there's no words to use, but I want to say all of that because we're so, we so easily change the channel, we so easily disassociate from it because it's so horrible that we don't want to think about the idea of our babies never coming home, but we have to think about it because we need change. There's been over 20 school shootings in, in this country this year alone, and it's May. We talk about this, we plaster all over the news, we hear from the victim's families, we hear about what happened, we hear about the fucking shooter, which we should never show his face or his name. No one should ever put this person's picture up, ever. But we replay it, we replay the footage over and over again, we get mad and we beg for change. And then nothing happens, we don't see change, nothing is happening, this just continues to happen. We have spent countless, countless hours bickering back and forth whether or not we're pro-life or pro-choice, bickering about overturning Roe v. Wade, but we're gonna stall on this? I understand the Constitution gives you the right to bear arms. I know that some people think that we're coming for your guns, but that's not true. People with guns are coming for our children, and we have to make schools safer. In this moment, I am ashamed of this country. I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna go hug my babies a little tighter tonight and I'm gonna research my options for no longer sending my kids to public school. 
our lawmakers are not interested in keeping our kids safe. It kind of feels like we're on our own. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you lost a child, a friend, a wife, a husband, mother, I'm so sorry. We need, we need change. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got.